Thank you, overlord. Thank you for saving my life. I am not capable to eat a steak. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Emily Lee, vegan, what I eat in a day for weight gain. That is interesting. Usually vegans always want to lose weight. Let's have a look. Good morning. I morning. am doing a vegan what I eat in a day video today and specifically this is going to be for weight gain so I'm going to be eating a lot of calories or at least trying to and I'll explain that a little bit further into the video. But yeah, I start every single morning with a huge glass of water and recent mornings I've been starting off with a banana. I use this time to like read a book, say my positive affirmations for the day, just do my journal clean like this so cringy why do vegans always start dancing when they eat something or when they put on their blenders anyways that being said starting your day with a banana is obviously not very calorie rich if you want to gain weight why don't you look into bodybuilding so in bodybuilding you would have a complete breakfast or first thing in the morning you would have a protein shake my point is you have no protein in this meal just carbohydrates you will run through the energy of that banana it is not ideal for weight gain let's proceed it's kind of just like my little pick-me-up in the morning and i really enjoy having this experience the you enjoy having the experience of eating a banana this is also the time where i feed noki if you haven't Please don't feed the cat vegan. Met him yet? He's our new kitty. So I started doing this randomly like a couple weeks ago whenever we have bananas, which is usually okay. very often. I just wake up and eat a banana and drink some water. Like this isn't my breakfast. This is my pre-breakfast treat. <laughs> and the only reason that I do this is to like get in a little bit more calories. And usually when I wake up, I'm really hungry. So I like to eat a banana to hold me over so that I can like actually cook something for breakfast or like eat something that I- Yeah, typical vegan starvation. When I wake up, I'm not hungry at all. Most people that eat a highly nutritious animal-based diet don't feel hunger in the the morning many of those people even go so far to eat only one meal per day because animal foods are so nutritious if you're a vegan you cannot do it take longer to prepare so yeah i'm just gonna enjoy my banana Ugh. um and then after this probably do my hair and get dressed and also play with noki see you guys when i cook breakfast cool so for today's breakfast, I want it to be super realistic. Sometimes I eat oatmeal, sometimes I make an acai bowl. But today, I just wanted a simple peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like, it's a lazy day for me. I'm home today. I just wanted something easy. Super realistic, super easy. At least you're honest. Most vegans eat like this. The vegans always praise the whole food plant-based diet, but nobody eats it. Nobody truly eats beans the daily dozen on a daily basis because it leads to digestive upset. This is why you see vegans eating more processed foods where the fibers have been removed. You know, this is my favorite jelly. I don't really have a particular reason as to why it's my favorite, but it's the one I always buy. It comes in a glass container, so that makes me feel good that I'm cutting down on at least one plastic thing. And it's just really good. Plastic. It has chunks of strawberries in it, which I love. It's super natural and it's yummy. Then okay. this is the peanut butter I'm using. Honestly, like not my choice brand. It was the one that all right. So obviously you do not need me to tell you that this is not healthy However, let me explain why that is because most vegans especially the vegans watching have no idea of nutrition So the bread contains gluten this stuff here contains only sugar nothing more and nothing less and when you look at the peanut butter all you will find is aflatoxins and lactins This is it. What will you get? No, you're not getting equal amounts of protein, vegans. Don't believe Instagram. With this amount of peanut butter, you might get 5 grams of protein. This is it. And on top of that, all the undesirable 
anti-nutrients. That Nathan bought my boyfriend, so I'm just using it. But it is vegan. I would prefer crunchy peanut butter, but he likes smooth, so that's the one that I have right now. I sometimes use bananas also in my sandwich, but since I already ate one, I wasn't feeling it. And I'm just topping it off with hemp seeds for some even more added protein because peanut butter- <laughs> Even more added protein. Guys, don't lie to yourself. If you would put on a little bit of breakfast meat, you will get at least 10 grams of protein. This here, the whole thing, has five grams of protein at best. And on top of that, it is not truly digestible. It is not bioavailable. You're not getting anything out of this meal. It has a lot of good protein in it. No, it does and not. of course I have to cut it into triangles. Like, like I still do that. You just have to, it's essential. <laughs> So before I eat my sandwich, I'm going to be taking uh. my vitamins. This video is actually sponsored by Ritual. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. You know, like Thank we really so all much. want to do the right thing to keep our bodies healthy, but it's really hard to understand. But do you really though? Do you really? If you would like to keep your body healthy, why would you eat a nutritionally deficient diet? Come on, please use your brain it is so simple if you want to give your body all it needs why don't you eat animal foods why do you have to pop pills and what you need and what essential nutrients we need on a daily basis <laughs> and honestly hey i have no idea which essential nutrients i need i'm just gonna let the supplement company decide for me the ritual helps with all of that there's no shady additives or ingredients that can do more harm to your body than good and you how just do you need know? to take two easy how do you know there are no long-term studies on supplements all we know is that the supplement supplement form of the vitamin can be found in the blood after ingesting. Yeah, of course it will end up in the blood, but the real question is how much do you absorb? What gets in your tissues? Answer is probably none of it. You need to take capsules every morning. So I have been oh. taking Ritual for like almost a month. You guys can see like, and honestly, it feels so good to take a multivitamin because I wasn't taking and again, this is not a personal attack. It is just an observation. Your skin looks terrible. You can see that through all of this sugar, your skin is suffering. Simple. Taking any before and like as a vegan, that's not a good thing to do. So ritual kind of like gives me the confidence that I am getting the nutrients that I need, including <laughs> D3 vitamins and omega threes. So they are vegan, allergen free, sugar free, gluten free, and non GMO, which I feel like hits every mark for all the different dietary restrictions. So that's dietary restrictions, guys. I do understand allergies, but what? physical restrictions do you have for meat? The answer is none. There are no physical restrictions for meat. It is all psychological. You don't want to eat it. Nobody has a meat allergy. I know as a vegan, there's a lot of things that I can't eat. So it is nice to know that my vitamins uh. are vegan. It makes me feel really good. And it just makes me feel really good that I'm getting the nutrients and vitamins that I need because that was kind of uh, but how do you know just because they told you just because the label says it how are you convinced that you will absorb it I assume you're still pretty young right now you can get away with it pretty soon you're gonna be an ex-vegan yourself it is just natural everybody will nobody can maintain this death diet best point for me in the past so yeah thank you so much to ritual for sponsoring uh, this video and actually helping my life a lot by filling in any gaps in my diet and yeah i'm gonna leave everything linked down below thank you and thank you code and thank you overlords oh thank you for saving my life i am not capable to eat a steak thank you sandwich now <laughs> mm. i've yeah, been reading wow. this book and in it it was saying how you should treat your body like i don't know kind of like a temple like <laughs> A goddess like new age something special in the book it said when you take your first bite you should really close your eyes and you should savor it mm. and i have been trying to do that and honestly like it gives me like some kind
How about you do a little prayer before your meal, just as we do in Christianity. It is a great way to be humble and to thank the Lord for meat, not for a peanut butter sandwich. Kind of new appreciation for taking care of myself and understanding that there's no, so don't. many like little <laughs> deeper parts in me, like my cells and my organs and like just so many things in there that depend on me uh, to take care of it. What do those books really teach you? You. If they would teach you anything, they would teach you about the importance of animal foods. And knowing that just gives me, like, as I said, like a new appreciation, like a new love for it. I don't know, like, it makes me feel really excited to take care of myself now. That that. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. She's sitting there with a peanut butter jelly sandwich and says that she is taking care of herself. I can't make this up. It was an interesting concept. <laughs> no. <laughs> so with the Poor whole girl. taking care of yourself thing, I actually made a video about it already, but talking about like my weight gain, then weight loss, and then trying to gain again, and my struggle with mental health regarding losing mm. weight. And basically I just- What came first, the mental illness or veganism? Ah, uh, uber okay, cringe. Now for lunch, I'm making kind of like this fusion udon noodle dish. So I'm starting off by preparing my vegetables. I'm cutting up a couple scallions here. Scallions are the superior onions. They are just the best. Then I have I'm still waiting for any because type of nutrition. Because people normally don't buy them and then they go in the trash. But yeah. Normal human beings these. base their carrots. meals around Love meat. Still no nutrition here. Nothing. Let's then see how this goes. Then I'm using this yellow squash. I'm actually just using half of it because... I just More didn't cups. want that much of it <laughs> and I'm just cutting this into slices and then cutting them into smaller pieces. Snow peas I'm pretty sure or are these sugar snap peas? I always mix it up. A couple cloves uh, of garlic which I'm just gonna where is the food? prepare and dice up. And actually my camera stopped recording for a lot of this so I basically Thank put God. it all in a pan with some sesame oil some soy sauce, some ginger, and some turmeric. Ginger and turmeric are amazing healing spices, and I really love cooking with them. Healing from um, what? And then just some salt and pepper. You know, the basics. Mm. Then I'm gonna boil some udon noodles. I'm actually making two servings because I am cooking for me and Nathan uh, because he came gluten. home early from work, so I made lunch for him too. And I'm just... Listen, don't get me wrong. Udon noodles are delicious. I love the Japanese cuisine. However, in this combination, you're not getting any nutrition. This is just gluten. This is just starchy carbohydrates. And this here as well. Those are just fibrous, starchy carbohydrates. There is no nutrition in this meal. Do you understand this? Not only on a macro level. You have no protein whatsoever. But on a micro level, you have no vitamin A, you have no vitamin D, you have no vitamin K2, you have nothing here, no heme iron, nothing, no saturated fats. Plating it up, you know, just put Set. in some noodles in the bowl <laughs> and then put in the vegetables on top. Not much I can say. I love having a lot of vegetables and then like a carby element. I'm sure you do. It just gives you some more calories than just eating vegetables because sometimes... Oh, I totally forgot. You're eating this to gain weight. Again, none of your meals up until now had protein. This is my advice to you, honestly. You have no protein, so therefore, how do you want to build any new tissue? Your body is made out of proteins. This is why only proteins and fats are essential. But your meals, they're pretty low fat. Your meals, they do not have any saturated animal fat. Your meals don't have any building blocks. Your meals are simply carbohydrates. This is not enough to gain healthy weight. I just eat vegetables, but it's nice to have a noodle. <laughs> This just looks so good. And then I just mix it up to get like the vegetable sauce all over the noodles too. So, so they can be a blended party. <laughs> I'm really dying to try this. Oh my god. No, you're dying of nutritional deficiencies. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, oh my god. Start crying. Nobody believes you. Here. Thank you. It's really good. Poor dude, man. Eat up. 
I hope mm, you're mm, not mm, vegan, mm, bro. Mm, mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. It's really good, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> So I sat down to do some work Fantastic. and I decided to eat some Annie's fruit snacks just because I wanted a sweet treat and Always obviously dancing. I really like them because <laughs> I'm dancing. And a little bit later I actually got some soy milk to drink just because I wanted to. Okay, and now- I'm sure you wanted to. Surely your body was craving soy milk. Young girl, please listen to Uncle Bobby. This here is not a personal attack. I want you to gain weight. I want you to gain healthy weight. I want you to be healthy overall. All of that food has nothing in it. The only reason why you crave anything milky is because your body craves K2, craves cholesterol, craves animal hormones. It wants the protein as a building block. Please stop lying to yourself. Now time for dinner. I'm gonna be making a <sighs> rice bowl with a bunch of roasted vegetables on it. I'm just putting some oil on a baking tray and putting- Okay, let me give you one more tip for free. I've been bodybuilding for 16 years, basically. I know a thing or two about weight gain. If you want to gain healthy weight, you obviously need a lot of calories. A lot of calories means a lot of food. But now you, you're making it hard on yourself because you're eating calorically empty foods. All of those foods have huge quantities because of the cellulose, because of the fiber, but they do not have a caloric density. If you would really like to gain weight in a normal context, replace the lean chicken with fatty meat. Why do we do this? Easy, because we don't want to be stuffed. In order to gain weight, we have to eat more calories than we burn. Therefore, we look for nutritionally and calorically dense foods. Something pretty small, but with a lot of calories. So we don't run around bloated and we can actually eat more. But you go against it and you're eating those super low calorie foods like pumpkins, onions and whatnot. This is not the way to gain weight. On some butternut squash, a lot of onion. We have some Idaho potatoes and some sweet potatoes. Not gonna you wanna like get in there with your hands, mix around the oil. I'm adding some nutritional yeast, some salt. For cheese flavor, as always. Some pepper. And this Italian seasoning mix. And then once again, you want to get in there and you want to make sure everything is coated. You want to make sure there's seasoning on all sides. There's oil on all sides. Vegetables. I actually didn't put enough here, so I would say if you're making this, Uber you should heated. put more than what I put. Leads to heart disease. Simple. Then I'm just putting it in the oven for maybe an hour or so. Like I just like for them to get a little bit crispy. Yep, that will make it cancerous. Now I'm making my quinoa. I've had this little microwavable rice cooker for like many, many years. So I'm using it because I still like it. You just put the quinoa in there with some water. And then I'm putting some oil, some pepper, some Use salt. Butter and a little bit of onion powder. And then you just mix it up and put it in the microwave for about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you have quinoa. Fantastic. <laughs> Aww. Noki was very friendly, but was very scared of the oven. <laughs> okay, now I'm plating up. Yep, the cat is smart. I'm putting the quinoa first, and Nathan decided to come help. <laughs> And then putting some of the roasted vegetables on top, some lettuce. I really wish I had more of a leafy green, like spinach or kale or something. Why do you wish it? Then some You only wish that because you've been conditioned to believe that it is healthy. Spinach is super high in oxalates. There's nothing healthy about it. None of this stuff here is digestible by humans. The reason why we eat it is to flush certain things through. This is what you do with this, but not for nutrition. Even carnivores like tigers or lions will occasionally eat some grass. Plants are medicine, animal foods are food. Yeah. 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 
quintessential you just have to mix it up because it tastes better <laughs> quintessential bloating okay time to try this okay. is honestly one of my staple meals like i love a rice bowl mm. close your eyes and visualize the goddess i really wish i had spinach Is it done? yeah you want to try we ran out of barbecue sauce and i took all of it <laughs> So you, you don't really have any. Bro, you no way you want to eat that. Cheese. Yeah, I do. I got you. Okay, Nathan, what are you eating in a, in a day? Whatever I cook? Pretty much. <laughs> or some shitty ass fast food. Oh my God. Not to be fair, I haven't been eating fast food as much. Wow, I'm like really proud of you. I did have McDonald's fries today. It's actually really sad if you look at what our society came to. We have an abundance of food and those poor young people eat fast food, stuff themselves with unhealthy stuff. For what? So maybe I'm lying. <laughs> Try it. I really wish we had more barbecue sauce. Like, you know. Yeah, the candida tongue as well, yeah, bro. Right? More barbecue sauce though. I like the corn. Yeah, more barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. The corn was a good touch, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you want to be in my outro? No. Okay, <laughs> bye. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and- I don't think so. Honestly, I felt like I could have ate a little more today, but my stomach kind of started hurting and I don't like to force myself to eat. So I just tried to eat at my own pace, you know? Uh, this wasn't the can't most calorie rich day or nutrient rich day. Listen, the only reason why your stomach hurt is because you're eating so much fiber. As I said, if you want to gain weight, you need calorically rich food. It is very simple. There is nothing much more to it. But you are eating counterintuitive. You're eating cabbage. You're eating squash. All of that food will bloat you. Then your belly will hurt and you're not able to eat more. If you would sit down to some burger patties, you would sit down to some whole milk, some real cream, something fatty you would be so much better off it would be so easy for you to gain weight please reclaim your health but i tried and that's what matters no that's not what matters mm. this is actually really good really you like it this kind of tastes like a taco bell and crunch wrap with potato in it but it's better mm. Taco Bell crunch wraps are really good and you can make them vegan. Maybe I'll show that in another what to eat in a day. That was a great compliment, mm. by the way. You're welcome. Fantastic. Also, another thing, I drink like six glasses of water every day. <laughs> so I didn't show it, but I had a lot of water. Always drink water. Okay. Guys. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Cheers. that this is all I'm gonna eat today because I have been pretty full today. All right. Um, I'm Enough. This is it for today. Super long video. Gonna cut it off here. Don't need to repeat myself. You already know the drill. Absolutely no nutrition has been seen that given day. This is not the way to gain healthy weight. All right, guys. But this is it for today. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition 
related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.